Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome. Coming up in today's video, I discuss the end of the Scania V8. Yes, it's all ending, guys. This is the startup of a Scania 164L V8 480 from 2003. Okay, let's try another V8. And this is a startup of a Scania R560 V8 from 2014. And this is the startup of a Scania S580 V8. Yeah, it's a bit quieter than the other two, of course. Now, I need to check this for oil. I need to do a taco download. Then we're getting this truck washed and I have to do some pickups in Dublin. Then we're looking at a Santa truck. It's all coming up in this video. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna top up the Scania S580 here with oil. We do have an electronic oil gauge here, along with a dipstick, of course. Now, it's usually eight liters of oil between minimum and full. So I've already put in about four liters. It was down near minimum, so I'm gonna put in another two liters. Yeah, so I've only put in six liters of oil since the last service down in Nolans. So we'll uh, stick in this bottle here. And yeah, six liters. But it's handy, the electronic gauge. Just saves you having to pull out that dipstick every couple of weeks checking it for oil. But some people have complained about some scanning is using far much more oil than the Scania S580 I'm driving here. Okay, that's it, it's topped up for oil and yeah, it's okay for water. It's just underneath the minimum mark there. So yeah, all good behind the grill. Let's close it up and we need to get going. We need to get on the road. Let's go. So you can see there now that we're just about up at the maximum level there. So that's absolutely fine. So by the time I go down for the next service, which will be 270,000 kilometers, we're only about 7,000 kilometers to go, um, I'll have only used about six liters of oil in between services. So that's not bad, is it? As I said already, other drivers have been complaining about some models of Scania's using a lot of oil. So, oh yeah, by the way, this Scania seems to be losing a bit of air on its air suspension on the front. So sometimes when I come in in the morning time, it's it's dropped a bit and it doesn't take long to fill up with air then but yeah it's just a bit of a pain that uh, it was never doing that obviously when it was new but so this is very handy I always love the uh, camera on the fifth wheel there for hooking underneath the trailers really like that I do need to get those cameras looked at as well because when I took out the hard drive to get some footage off those cameras um, I actually lost uh, the recording feature so none of the cameras are recording for some bizarre reason I don't know okay we've just hooked underneath that trailer and I'll just give it a small tug forward there just to make sure the fifth wheel is properly attached and yeah we're good to go obviously I'm gonna check it as well uh, okay let's get out and get this trailer hooked up I'm just going to do a taco download. I showed you all about these before in a previous video, but I had to delete that video because of, yeah, various reasons. Um, if you ever meet me, you can ask me why. But um, yeah, okay, so that's my card. And then I will put in the company card. So we'll put that in and close the slot. And then I have the cable that goes from the downloading tool. Turn it on again and we need to slot it in make sure it's slotted in correctly in here okay so yeah we'll do that download and then we'll do uh i'll do a download of my card as well so it's quite quick this unit now we did have a unit previous to this that was absolutely crap and it was <laughs> nearly a thousand euro for that this one was about 600 euro i think when we bought it so yeah i'm just going to eject the card let's eject that Get it out, just wait for all these bars to go down. 
no we don't want to lock out the company and then eject the card there we go and then I'm going to do a driver's card that was the difference with this unit and the previous unit we had which was just lights it was crap but this one's far more intuitive than that and there you go look that's how quick it is to download a driver's card and stick in the card and off we go so now it's time to talk about scania's v8 engine is it nearing its lifespan for scania it would be nice to see it last up until 2029 because then it will be 60 years of the v8 but i don't think it's actually going to last that long um, with Euro 7 emissions coming in on the 1st of July 2027, will it last that long? Are Scania going to be willing to pump in all that money to get this engine to pass those emissions? And uh, yeah, I've no idea. We're just going to have to wait and see. But there are still four engines in the Scania V8 lineup. 530, 590, 660 and 770, the flagship. So if you were to look at Scania's new 13 liter engine, in particular the 560, it's very closely matched in power to the 530 V8 from Scania. So they both have 2,800 newton meters of torque, and the power band on the 13 liter engine is developed between 900 RPM and 1400 RPM. So if you were to compare that to the V8, it develops its power band between 925 RPM and 1325 RPM. So a 400 RPM power band window for the V8 and a 500 RPM power band for the 13 litre engine. So they're very closely matched in power. Okay, the kilowatts are up on the V8 by 22 kilowatts. Yeah, I mean, I think slowly but surely the 530 V8 from Scania will be dropped, then the 590 will be gone, then you'll be down to two V8s, 660 and 770. That's what I'm predicting. And then maybe, just maybe, Scania are going to up the 770 to 800 horsepower and give it an extra 100 Newton meters of torque, bringing it up to 3,800 Newton meters. Yeah, it's a lot of figures, guys, but um, yeah, just stay with me here. So do you guys think this Scania engine will be still in their lineup after 2027? I don't think so. I think it'll possibly be dropped before that. Obviously, you'll be able to still buy V8 engines in 27, 28, and who knows how long after, but they won't be able to produce those engines, I don't think, after July 2027. I seriously doubt Scania is going to pump in all that money to get this engine to pass those emissions. I mean, Mercedes had a V8, gone. Um, MAN V8 gone, Iveco V8's gone, you know, so Scania are, are just practically the last one standing with this V8 engine. I mean, it is their cash cow. They earn a lot of money from this engine in their lineup. But yeah, I just have a funny feeling it's not going to be lasting much longer. Oh yeah, and Scania are having another price rise again. I found out lately, a 5%. So how many price rises is that? Two, three? in the last year or just over a year like it's just unbelievable um, this truck as I said before was 135,000 euro new back in 2020 if you were to buy the model that replaces this which is the 590 V8 um, all you're getting is, is the new gearbox which by the way Scania are, are having teething problems with um, some guys have complained about not being able to get it into gear so um, yeah teething problems for the new gearbox which luckily enough for the guys that are buying 770s that new gearbox is not in that truck um, it's more or less the same gearbox as what's in this truck so yeah the um, yeah if you were to buy a 590 say 4x2 you're probably talking into the mid 150s so like over 20 grand more than what was paid for this so yeah there are, are even more with this new price rise coming again. So yeah, they're just getting hugely expensive now with these trucks. So um, it's doubtful you'll probably ever see a, a new Scania coming to Rory Lynch Transport. Well, definitely not a V8, I wouldn't think. Um, possibly a 13 liter. Now I'm just about to go into MDS truck wash here 
to get the truck washed. I'm here in Nace in County Kildare. Just washing a truck there at the moment for Munster Joinery, and we have this man here in the Scania R500 from 2019 Ryan's Dairy Gold. There, so there's Mike. Let's have a chat with him, pull in, and get the truck washed. Okay, so Munster Joinery is just pulling away there, and the Scania is getting washed. So, yeah, the brushes are just coming on the truck now, and this is Mike. This is the man behind MDS Truck Wash here in Nace in County Kildare. Mike, can you tell us how busy are you? We're busy. <laughs> We're busy. How We're many busy. trucks last week? Uh, over a hundred. Over a hundred yeah. trucks last week. Yeah. This guy is very busy with his truck. I, he told me he only took three days off. Last it's, year. <laughs> last year. <laughs> He's flat out. And this man helping him here as well. Yeah. Lucas. So um, yeah, it's great. To, oh yeah, and I'm pulling the Denison trailer as well, which is Denison are right next door. <laughs> so a kind of a handy tie-in. Uh, yeah, well, I think we got four of the, these new trailers off Denison's there. But um, yeah, they build them just down the road. But you collect them over here in this depot. And yeah, we're in Hiracos yard here as well, so you can hire trailers here. And how much is the truck wash now? Uh, track the unit. Uh, truck and track unit, 65 including VAT. 65 including VAT. And, but you free tea, free coffee. Oh yeah, tea and coffee oh. facilities. Look! <laughs> I have my coffee here as well. And biscuits and the whole lot, guys. So, um, and, and it's not just trucks you do, Mike. It's vans no, and vans, anything yeah. at all. Trailers, you name it, cars, yeah. yeah. Yeah, cars, the whole lot, guys. So, and you're here on Saturdays? We are, yeah. Saturdays. Yeah, until 2 o'clock. Until 2 o'clock, yeah. is going back over the truck now for a second time and Mike is going to talk about some chemicals here that he's selling some cleaning solutions there you have it Kenotech so you use this on all the trucks we Mike, do yeah? we do Stavros yeah this is a, a non-contact um, foam that we use we get a lot of uh, very fussy drivers in <laughs> that really want to look after their trucks they don't want brushing they just want to be able to foam up and wash off yeah. It's understandable some of the trucks are 150 to 250,000 euro. Oh, yeah. Um, and in fairness, the lads look after them, so we look after the lads. Yeah. It's a great product. We couldn't, we wouldn't be where we are only for it, only for Tom, Enda, Mark, all the guys in Kenetech. Yeah, really done us proud and helped us along the way. And you also sell these boots as well. Yeah. Super Hamptons! Yeah, and Super Hamptons! <laughs> Will I need to buy a pair of Super Hamptons, guys, and become a fully fledged Tang? Tang in the Scania. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you have it. What? We're walking 120 kilometers a week. Yeah. Up and down with the wash. Yeah. Unreal. So there you go, guys. All your cleaning solutions sold here at MDS Truck Wash, and also these boots. <laughs> oh, they're not steel toe caps. I, I can't wear them. I definitely can't wear them. Okay, I'm just going to pull out of the wash here and Mike is going to give the wheels just a quick wash. Yeah, so they're very busy here and plenty of trailers here at Hyraco as well. Oh, we have another Scania in here getting washed. An R-Series from Road Truck Services. Okay, Mike, what do you think? Is it like, do they suit me? <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at that, look. Wow, look, that's it boys, I'm all done. I just need a check shirt now and a big cowboy hat, look, look at that, huh? And you can get your Super Hamdens at MDS Truck Wash, right here. Okay, Mike is giving these boots away, these are Blundstones. I've also signed the box there, so we're giving them away tomorrow, Monday the 12th of the 12th. 2022 so let's just open up the box there Mike give them a look at the boots so you can win these boots tomorrow okay 
What's it? Any size they want, Mike. Any size you any want. Any size yep. you want. Yep. You'll get a pair of these. All you have to do is say Blundstone Stavros 969. That's all you have to say, and you win the boots. Come in tomorrow, 12th of the 12th, Monday, and say Blundstone Stavros 969, and the boots are yours. Any size you want. Any size you want. <laughs> Thanks, Stavros. Thanks, Mike. Cheers. We'll, uh, we'll chat to you again. Thanks, Sarah. Right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Okay, so I'm just pulling into Dublin Airport here. And if any of you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll know how much I complain about this place with the hours that you spend collecting here. So yeah, we're just going to pull into the cargo terminal now so it is now just half one when I'm pulling in here and I'll let you know how long it's gonna take it is two minutes to six so we must be here now what nearly four and a half hours to do collections out of four different warehouses up here. Three companies, four different warehouses. So yeah, great fun, isn't it? Not a great place to break down, right at the red cow here. That guy is slowing up traffic hugely on the M50. And I'm just checking out the Santa truck, the Peterbilt 121 with its Unicab Ultra Built, or is it Unibilt Ultra Cab? Something like that. But anyway, there it is, full of light. Santa's in the back. There's hundreds of people queuing up to go inside the trailer to see Santa. And yeah, I just decided to come down and have a look at this. Let's check it out. Oh, it's Christmas time. I said I can't help it. And somebody's legs are hanging out the side of the truck here. What's going on there? Yeah, I did see the snowman, but uh, I don't see him anymore. There you go, guys. The Peterbilt. Let's have a quick look inside. Is there anything to see? anything in there I have to talk over the copyright music here we go oh let's go over here look at this Christmas tractor okay so this is the Christmas tractor it's the case Maxim 145 covered in lights yeah getting ready for the Christmas tractor runs from 2020 yeah maybe he could have got he could have put more lights here <laughs> no there's enough on it and there's loads of people queuing up to wash their cars as well Okay, let's go back and just have one last look at the Christmas truck. And this guy's after arriving with a 5 Series BMW covered in lights to go with the truck. Very nice pairing, well done, I like it. Okay, that's where I'm going to end it from Junction 14, the Santa truck, the Peterbilt. 121 with all the lights. And like, as I said already, like there's hundreds of people queuing to go in the back. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please do comment below when you think Scania's V8 engine will end production. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see on that one. But anyway, please do give this video a thumbs up and I'll chat to you all again next time for another one. Take care, thanks for watching.